Hi everybody, my name is Vambo. I cannot be here unfortunately, but I would like to thank a lot of people for uh, being there. I've contributed three workshops. One was uh, the opening event. I built 20 Berliner Hockers with the neighbors and with uh, people from, uh, from all over the world. Young and old, it was really fun. And uh, the second workshop was the one square meter house. I've invented the smallest house in the world. Um, my constructivism, or how do you say, my constructive, constructive, my constructive uh, criticism to uh, the, the discussion about uh, gentrification and what is home and to who does the park and the river, the spray belong to. The third event was the uh, book release party of my um, yeah, of this book here, the Hartz4Möbel.com book with Hatje Kanz. And uh, I th a lot of people ask me now what, uh, what traces uh, do, does the BMW Guggenheim Lab leaves in the city. And I would say the, the traces are subtle. I mean, it's no secret that we were quite hidden in the second backyard, but Nevertheless, the quality of the program, I think, was really, really good, and the quality was uh, was um, was was made was made with passion, and uh, that's why I really appreciate and would like to give a lot of respect to the people who made the program, to all the curators and uh, the program makers, especially Corinne Rose, who uh, discovered me and uh, asked me to to participate to the BMW Guggenheim Lab. Uh, thank you a lot, Corinne Rose, for your passion and your idealism. I would also like to thank uh, Maria Nicanor for her calmness and her professional diplomacy. I've never seen a so calm uh, woman like her, even when uh, TV, I mean, nasty TV uh, um, reporters came and uh, <laughs> bothered us a little bit. She, she stayed always calm and always uh, was very solution oriented. I learned a lot from her. So thank you, Maria, for helping us out and making this all possible. Thanks also to the team, to Lutz and Yunus for their pragmatism and helpful character and of course Sasha and uh, even the, you know, the, the, um, the cleaning woman, Katja, who uh, helped me to clean up the one square meter house. Um, Emma Gamsharik, a blogger and the so-called pancake Boy, he took. He was the very first person who took the one square meter house um, to sleep in it and to uh, to have an adventure with it in Kreuzberg, Neukölln. And he he rode the house uh, through the whole city from Neukölln to Prenzlauer Berg. And when he came back with the house, it was full with graffitis and traces of pancakes. So um, I I needed a little help of Katja to clean up all this. And uh, so thank you to all these people behind the scenes. Uh, they are also very important. And um, a lot of people also ask me, well, what, uh, what difference does the BMW Guggenheim lab makes in, uh, in the city? I think the discussions were uh, very important that the BMW Guggenheim uh, um, kicked off. And uh, I, f I think that uh, there were a lot of people who, uh, who came to participate in the discussion and a lot not. And uh, that's really a pity. But uh, what I can say from my side is that we changed, we made a little change. Uh, from now on, it's possible to live in Berlin for just one euro per square meter, one euro per night, thanks to the cooperation with the E7 hostel, which is just in your corner in the Schwedestrasse 7, Schwedestrasse 7. It's just five minutes. Uh, if you walk around the, the Pfefferberg, there's the East 7 Hostel, and they they uh, have a cooperation with us. Thank you a lot to uh, Jörg and Anne from the East 7 Hostel. It's possible now, if you have friends or people who don't have uh, much money and would like to stay in Berlin, um, they can come now to Berlin and stay for just one euro per night. That means 30 euro a month, live in Prenzlauberg in one of these one square meter houses. So. Uh, this is indeed uh, a little change that we made. Yeah, now it's, I mean, you can stay here for low money in the heart of Berlin at the E7 Hostel. They provide uh, kitchen and bathrooms, and well, the house is very small, but uh, it's uh, it's an accom accommodation. And um, thanks, of course, to the people who uh, 
who, who helped me to, to realize the idea of the one square meter house, uh, my assistant Pedro Moraz and the photographer Aaron Leptic and Amy McKinney who, uh, who is um, actually living in, in one of the one square meter houses. If you see her, just say hello from, from, from me. And Johannes Franco made the video of the one square meter house. And uh, thanks, I, I think it was very important for me to, to participate at the BMW Guggenheim Lab because without the Guggenheim Lab, I would never, the idea of the one square meter house would never be um, spread that way, that broadly. Um, I've given interviews to Spiegel Online and to CNN in the US and now I get a lot of um, emails and requests. People want to build the one square meter house from Uzbekistan uh, up to Cupertino where Apple is based and Chicago a homeless center wants to build the one square meter house in Chicago. Imagine that, isn't that crazy? And uh, even in Hollywood now, people are starting to build one square meter house. I think it's a, just a small step to, um, to contribute to the discussion what, how much space do people really need and um, how can we take back the space in, in, in public, uh, public spaces public places and um, yeah, it's just the beginning and I'm very curious to see what the Guggenheim lab will uh, will make in Mumbai and the next cities in the next year so um, all in one I would say that um, it was a very important uh, contribution to Berlin and the discussion what a city should be like and I, I'm very proud to be part of it so thank you all for for making this happen and also I mean left-minded people would, won't like to hear what I will say now, but even thank you to BMW in Munich uh, to pay for all this. I mean, someone has to pay for all that and they make it possible to, to make our workshops uh, for free. So thank you to the BMW group and the uh, culture division. Yeah, and if you wanna participate and join me with my movement, Build More By Less, you're cordially invited to, to go on my website, www.facebook.com slash hartzviermöbel or hartzviermöbel.com and um, yeah, see you soon. Bye bye.